Hi, this is Paul from paulbrabby.com. I wanted to go through another uh, couple of cool tools for uh, trading view. This time we're looking at correlations. So when we're trading uh, futures, we're, there's certain correlations that uh, that really we need to keep an eye on. And the great thing about trading view is we can actually put them on our charts to uh, to track and see. But the first thing I want to do is just to highlight the pre-market session. So this is uh, ZB. This is the 30-year bonds that I trade um, now. I've got the expert algo on here. We've got some six star shorts uh, coming on. I want to talk about uh, these shorts and uh, the correlations uh, were there. So we're going to the first thing I'm going to do, though, is gonna, I'm just going to put a vertical uh, zone in there using the uh, rectangle tool of basically the, the pre market session um, here. And then the that goes all the way to the open uh, there. OK, so this is a stock market open and the pre-market session for the US there. Obviously, the times are different for me because I am in Europe. Uh, just going to change that to a totally different color to everything else. There we go. OK, so I just want you to bear in mind that particular time because that's a very, very important time when you're trading these uh, types of instruments. So let's look at the correlation. So if I'm trading bonds, I really want to look at uh, the the ES the the S and P and I also want to look at the dollar now the dollar is a very important correlation whether you're trading um, index futures currency futures gold or even bonds you really need the dollar on there so what you need to do is you need to go up on the top here we've got the the instrument name we've got the time frame and we have the um, type of chart and then we've got compare so we click on compare and we want the dollar in for so we want the DXY so you'll need to go to CFD and then DXY, and then you'll see the US dollar. OK, so we want to add that. Now, it comes like this to begin with. So I like to change this uh, look, uh, the way this is all working. So if I go to settings, if I right click on that dollar, I'm going to change it to white. I always have that as white. Um, but then I want it stepped, OK? I want it stepped, and I'll show you why in a little while. So I want the line. I want the source is closed. I want it stepped. I just want to let, can I get it a little thinner? Okay, that's good. Uh, and then we'll click OK. So now I have the US dollar on this left-hand pane here. If I do that, you can see that moving around. Um, so I'm going to move that up uh, a little bit here. Now you can see this correlation during this pre-market. You can see the US dollar going down and the bonds. Okay, you see this correlation here? And then we see the, the dollar turn up as the market opens, and so do the bonds. And then we get this big drop on the US dollar, which starts this big move down on the bonds. Okay, but that's just one correlation. I want to add another one on there because it the SP is very, very important in trading bonds, and I'm going to make other videos with other types of correlation. So I want to compare again. OK, I want to add uh, the ES symbol. So I'll have to go to Futures and I'll go to ES and I'll use the continuous contract ES1 exclamation mark there. OK, again, I like it stepped because a line chart doesn't really help me here. So I'm going to right click on there. I'm going to go to uh, Step and we're going to click OK. So it looks a little messy on your chart. This time it's put it on the right hand side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move ES up to the top, OK? Let's just scrunch that up a little bit here. I'm going to move the US dollar down near the bottom, and I'm just going to move that chart here. So then we can just discuss uh, certain things that happen. So leading up to the pre-market in the US, we can see uh, the ES is pretty flat and range bound. Same with uh, the, the bonds there. Uh, the dollar is still quite active because we've still got currency traders uh, in Europe, um, you know, affecting that bond and we uh, sorry, affecting the US dollar. And we've got um, European data coming out, which also affects the dollar. So that's still quite active. But you can see here the bonds and the ES is quite um, inactive. It's quite narrow. But then when we start the pre-market section, pre-market um, era of before those US markets open, we start to get lots more volume into those some of those bigger stocks pre market and that starts to move 
uh, ES a little bit. So we can see here during this pre-market session, ES does start to creep up a little here and we get that move down on there. So that correlation between um, ES, uh, the S&P 500 and the dollar is they're opposing. So as the dollar's going down, the ES goes up and vice versa. Usually it's ES that starts to take over what that correlation is uh, once more stocks are being traded. So as you see the ES go up on this blue here, we can see the dollar go down and that forces the bonds to go down also. Then we see um, the little move up, but I just want to talk about this move here. Um, we do get this US dollar, uh, sorry, the, the ES coming down here uh, as Again, the US dollar then goes up. So ES comes down, which forces the dollar up. And we can see now that correlation between the bonds and the dollar is still right. We're still going up. OK, then we get the ES moving back up, which sends the US dollar down in white there. And guess what happens? The bonds go down as well. OK, so we can use those correlations by putting them on our charts and looking at that behavior on certain times of the day when there's data as well. And again, if you're trading a lot of futures, you really need to understand what's going off during that pre-market when the US market's open. And then look at those correlations. ES uh, definitely have US dollar on there. And very, very simple. So if you look back, you'll see how I've added these to the, to the um, training view chart. And to be honest, these are readily available. It's pointless adding us to add these to our um, indicator suites that we produce for TradingView because they're already available. You just need to know where they are, how to use them. In this case, this six star sell from our expert algo, we had the bonds kept hitting this support and resistance zone. Then the correlations worked out right and we got the big sell down on the bonds. That was a great move. And then you can see uh, ES came down, US dollar came up, and we had a pullback back up there against the main trend on the bonds. Then we came back down again, and it just keeps going. So that time of day with those particular set of correlations really good for trading bonds. And hopefully in the future, I'm going to be looking at some gold examples, some silver, platinum maybe, uh, and some currencies just to show you the sort of correlation you should be looking at. But the main thing from this is being able to add them on your chart for a training view so you can understand the behavior of what's going off the market because everything is connected, is interlinked with these correlations and it's important for you to understand. So hopefully uh, this has helped uh, being able to put those uh, other instruments on the same chart to keep an eye on those correlations to help you trade. And in this case, we had a great six star sell. I mean, this this eventually was uh, a fifteen hundred two thousand dollar trade on ZB using our expert Elko. Um, but to help us with that, we've got the support and resistance zone on there already. But then we have those correlations to give us that extra confidence in those trades.